Um, well, they, they create problems with the two little point guards. Um, you know, one of the big issues for us, obviously, uh, pick and roll defense because they got a couple guys that can beat you off the dribble and, and you use the pick and roll to kind of create a problem. So um, I think one of, the, one of the reasons why we won a game this year was because we, we kind of dealt with the pick and roll a little bit better than we have in the past. And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big issue for us uh, tonight. So we just try to be as consistent as possible try to keep them out of the paint, and uh, hopefully we uh, can uh, shut down a little bit of the penetration. You go from Lillard to seeing whether it's Teague or, or, or Schroeder, but uh, when you do handle the pick and roll well, what is it that allows you guys to do that and, and try and slow some of those players down? Well, we're, we're trying to make a conscious effort to impact the ball a little more. Um, instead of them going downhill, more penetration going toward the sideline. I think it helps us, our bigs, to get back into the paint to find their man. Uh, weak side help defenders are in a position where they can um, help them in that regard uh, so we don't give up easy uh, uh, dives and rolls to the rim for layups. So uh, uh, it's, you know, it's tough, but uh, that's kind of one of the things that we're consciously working on is trying to impact the ball a little bit more, more ball pressure, um, you know, understanding who you're guarding. Obviously, we want to well, try to get overly aggressive with it, but uh, you know, just some pressure to kind of take away some of the downhill uh, penetration. Well, same thing we just talked about with the Atlanta guards. He's able to get in the paint. Um, and he's kind of got a knack for navigating through traffic and getting down there and either, either having to play at the rim or finding someone out on the perimeter. So um, he's, it's kind of his game. Um, you know, the other night he, he was able to knock down some shots from the outside, which is probably not one of his biggest strengths. But, uh, I mean, they have to deal with him uh, when he gets in the paint because uh, he's pretty crafty at getting down there. For the naked eye, it looks like Joe's shaking a little bit out of his slump. But w what have you seen from him over the last? Um, I mean, he, he works hard at his craft. I mean, uh, the days that we do have him on the practice court, he's able to get shots up and get a rhythm that way. But my um, my thinking is to try to get the ball in his hands a lot more uh, in certain actions. And uh, he's one of our better guys with the ball, whether he's shooting it or, you know, coming out of pick and roll or posting up. So I uh, just want to take advantage of that. And uh, I think he's getting a better rhythm when he has the ball in his hand. He had a pretty good percentage of three pointers last night. You encourage guys to take more? <laughs> well, we encourage them to take them when they open. Um, but uh, obviously, it's been a weakness of ours uh, so far this season. And uh, we're just trying to create more space. Obviously, with the pace, that helps a little bit. You know, uh, defenders are not just locked in on these guys when they're behind the three point line. But if you have a little space, you got guys closing out on you fast. Now you have options. You got the shot, or you can beat them off the dribble and get to a to a shot, or make the next play. So uh, I'm happy that the three point shots are going in a lot more. And uh, when we have them, we'll take them. You get a sense that because uh, you said that you know, there's an open door, and it's a clean slate for everybody. You get a sense where you guys realize that what a, a, a possibility they have, what what kind of opportunities this is. For well, I'll leave that up to you to ask them. But I I think the, the pace has helped free their minds a little bit. Um, and it is a blank canvas. I mean, we're trying to do something a little different than we did, you know, early part of the season. And uh, maybe the pace helped them free their minds a little bit more. But uh, it's not a conscious effort by me to make sure they have a clean slate. It's still basketball. They have to go out there and play. And, and hopefully with the way we're playing now, they, they'll have a little bit more fun. Maybe that raises their confidence level and their passion for the game a little bit more. Makes sense the other day when when you played for the Nets, you were in that position that, that, that you got an, op an opportunity. What did that do for you that year that you played for the Nets? Well, it, it, it helped a lot. They have a number of injuries um, with that roster, and it gave me an opportunity to start. Maybe if those guys were healthy, I probably wouldn't have had that opportunity. But I got a, a good feel of how to be a starter, uh, how you have to be on at the, be the beginning of games. Uh, I wasn't, a, uh, in anybody's mind, a great offensive player, but I took opportunities when they came to me. My thing was getting out in the open court and running, and you know when the shots came, I took them when I was open. But uh, yeah, it was so long ago; it's just got, to, got to dust off the <laughs> cobwebs for that. But uh, it was fun for me as a young player. But uh, you know, getting an opportunity to play every night as a starter was uh, was a big thing for me.